Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Center News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video as the man, the myth, the legend, Ivan Fedotov from the KHL that just run the Gagarin Cup, the championship over there for his team, signs a one-year entry-level contract. For people that don't know, that's what he was eligible for at the entry level because of the whole KHL and the rules and everything. I don't want to get into all that, yada, yada, but that's what he was eligible for. Four, Ivan Fedotov comes over. And another fun fact about him before we just get into how good of a goaltender he is, Laparanta, Finland is the bordering town of Russia. Only, I think it's 30 kilos from Russia. So, uh, he was actually born technically in Finland, but obviously plays for the Russian team because that was the border <clears throat> uh, town there and obviously resonates in, or resides excuse me, in Russia and etc., cetera, etc., cetera. And was absolutely ridiculous for Tractor. Uh, he was good for um, Yule Lev as well um, years ago when he was there in 1718 through uh, 1819. Not really years ago, but a few years ago. And then for Moscow, since going to one of the biggest teams, obviously, he was really tight this year after getting moved from Tractor to Moscow. Really tight season this season. Really spectacular. Even like. To go from having a 920 and a 2 in the postseason to just also the KHL was before the whole war and everything we're not going to get into with Russia in this podcast was on ESPN. So I've got the pleasure to watch a lot of Moscow's games and Fedotov uh, live on screen. And he's a beast. I mean, his movements, uh, he uses all of that, um, <clears throat> all of that six foot, um, six inches that he's listed as, and um, 205 pounds, like, he uses his size well, he rotates, he moves well, he's very good at, some goalies are not the best at, obviously, when they keep track of the play behind the net, at being able to then respond to a quick pass out in front, obviously, goaltenders and hockey people know what I'm talking about there, he's very good at being able to do that as well, he's coming off of one of the best playoffs in freaking KHL history of having below a two goals against and a nine freaking 37. This man almost had um, 20 wins. He had 16 in the postseason and almost had a 940 save percentage. I mean, talk about ridiculous. And he also has played solid in Olympic play. So Ivan Fedotov, great seventh round pick from years ago. The goaltending is building up in Philly. Samuel Ursan will come back healthy next year. We have Fedotov. We have, obviously, Felix Samstrom, who looks like he can definitely be an AHL backup as well. It's just now with Fedotov, you potentially, or an NHL backup, I should say, excuse me, you potentially have two NHL starters with him and Hart because Fedotov is not on, nobody's really on that precipice. Obviously, he's struggling in the postseason, but it's his first time that New York's at this kind of, expected to be good phase of the postseason, so I, I'm not going to get on to struggle for that, but I wouldn't put necessarily Fedotov on that scale, because that's just a ridiculous scale that Shesterkin has himself on now, but he's definitely more of one of those guys that's in the A- minus tier, at least, of where those guys are in the, where Sorokin's in the A-plus tier, or excuse me, Shesterkin and Sorokin, I would say, is in the A tier of Russian goaltenders. I would say you have Fedotov at least in that A minus tier with how good he was able to build up himself over there in Russia. And now he's going to come over here to the States, get a year to prove himself with the Flyers. And we'll have to see what happens going forward because the Flyers do have, and it's never bad to have a lot of goaltending. They also have Kozlov over there in Russia that's dominating as a young kid. So it's never bad to have enough goaltending plus others. Fedotov, now with Ursan in-house, coming back next season, he'll be a pivotal key for the Phantoms. I would think it would be the du the, the sweetest duo now um, in Lehigh with Samstrom and Ursan next season, potentially. Like it was going to be this season, but injuries uh, derailed that, and Pat Nagel and others stepped up. But when it comes to Fedotov, he's very sound in that. He's freakishly athletic, too, so even if he does get caught um, on a play, there's been multiple saves when I've been able to watch him play with Tractor and with Moscow, that he can just make those diving saves across the net like we see, um, obviously, a fellow foreign goal netminder that's great as well in Vasilevsky um, be able to make those types of saves. Bobrovsky in his younger years now, Bobrovsky is not as good at making those freakish athletic saves. He's kind of rotated his game to being a little bit more of a sound goaltender, not rely on that as much. But he definitely has the wow saves combined with just being a very sound netminder. I'm excited to see Ivan Fedotov over here. I was very worried 
about him potentially coming over here because of all the um, wars going on in Russia and Ukraine. But it's nice for the Flyers to have him be able to come over here. And I'm assuming because he was technically born in Finland on Laparanta, maybe that's how he's able to easier get out, go through Finland, and then fly here. And uh, that's how he's going to be able to get to the States. But I'm excited to see him in cage and have him and Carter Hart because I do think Fedotov is going to be one of those Russian netminders that you can put like 30 games on at least in his first, well, probably not. That's probably about the quota you're going to put on him in his rookie season. Uh, but but you could put 30 games on in his rookie season and then have Hart play the rest. I don't think that would be a problem at all. And then I also think if he did hit some bumps in the road, Felix Sandstrom has shown enough to show that he can be the backup, the B, the 1B for you as well because he just didn't get a lot of help in front. Let's face it, the Flyers' defense in net front has sucked for whatever goaltender was in net this year. So I thought Sandy was fine, and Fedotov now is going to need to help get the help around him, just like quarterbacks need in football, as the Flyers are going to need to build out the better defense from the forward court back and have guys where well, the forward court will be helped by Katoria coming back, but they're going to have to get more guys that are more defensively sound, get rid of JVR, who has no really defensive ability at this point, and um, get somebody in and add to that spot that does, plus obviously add a little bit to the defense as well. You don't want to add too much because you don't want to block young guys, but add maybe one vet to the defense, so to speak. But this has been a video on Ivan Fedotov. Excited to get to see what the kid can do. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please do subscribe down below. Above the easy to use widget to keep channel grown to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.